All UPS packages are subject to a six foot drop. Production presents an unboxing of my new laptop. Yes, folks, I sold the MacBook Pro the day after I posted the eBay stuff video, so if that was one of you guys, wow. <laughs> you jumped on that quick. Somebody did. But sold that. Bought this thing, and we're going to take a look at it. But first, holy crap, UPS. <laughs> this box got really beat up, as did the uh, this case box over there. That one, that one got banged around pretty good, too. But this one especially just got like something just went like that. <laughs> now I think the laptop is dealt I think the laptop is in its own box anyway, so it's not like it's gonna matter, but still. <laughs> yeah. Let's open this up. With my uh, wonderful purple scissors here. I'm excited, man. This is the first new laptop. New. I repeat that new laptop I bought in about four years. My last new laptop was the MacBook Pro. Now I've kind of shied away from Macintosh computers because I've got, I, I'm getting really tired of them limiting what you can do with the hardware, like soldering and RAM, non-removable batteries, no more optical drives, you know. Stuff like that drives me crazy. So I've decided to go for a more PC-oriented option. Airbags and cardboard. Wow! And here we. Have, wow, this is a pretty heavy box. Ugh. All right, get that out of here. Here's what we have: an Asus laptop. Since I liked my Asus EPC 1015 PEM so much, I figured if I'm going to go for a, an inexpensive laptop, I'll go for one that I've had good luck with in the past. Uh, I've had that Asus EPC, despite it being a $400 computer, was an amazing, amazingly uh, reliable machine. So, this is what Asus uses for boxes. They uh, give you a, an eco box with its uh, environmentally friendly and environmentally conscious vegan cardboard. <laughs> so, let's, uh, let's unbox this, shall we? There's not much on the box. Really, there's uh, this warranty stuff. I get a one-year warranty. I get a zero bright dot on the screen guarantee. Two-way free standard shipping for it. A bunch of other stuff. So Asus has pretty good accidental damage protection. Also, this box had to be shipped through UPS because of lithium-ion batteries. So... Let's cut through the red tape, or the black tape in this case, and get to the goods inside. It's like a suitcase. Nice. So, let's open this up. Get the, uh, get that tab out of there. It should open, yep, just like that. Mmm, newness. All right. Grab the laptop and pull it out yet. Yeah. Alright, laptop is out. What else we got in this box? That's just labeled right, so I'll put that back there. Warranty card. Windows 8 user's guide, so they are actually helping people along with Windows 8. That's good. And the, the uh, manual. Wrapped in plastic. It's fantastic. <laughs> I probably won't even ever look at the manual because I know how to use a computer. All right, here we have the battery. What kind of battery is this? Let's see. Come on. All right, it's a 10.8 volt battery, 4,700 milliamp hours, and 50 watt hours. I don't know how many. I don't know how. how bleh, I don't know how many cells this has. I would guess it's like a maybe a six cell battery, something like that. And I have I have no idea. There's the battery. What else we got? Let's just take everything else out. A very interestingly shaped uh, power adapter. That's what it looks like. I don't know what this is, actually. Yeah, it has to be a power adapter. There's the power cord. 
which is a Mickey Mouse power cord, as you can see there. And there you have it. Let's take a look at the laptop itself now. I'll put the battery in it and everything. And here she is. I love this texture on the top. It feels great. Plus, the laptop doesn't feel flimsy at all. It feels, feels pretty nice. It feels nice and tough. This is an Asus K55N with an AMD APU uh, inside of it. I went for the APU option in order for uh, better graphics than the Intel HD 3000 or 4000 would offer me. Because, there you have it. This is what's replacing the MacBook Pro. So this is an AMD APU solution. Let's take a look at the inside. I'll use my toe to hold it down. Ugh. All right, here we go. Nice keyboard protector there. It's got a nice big keyboard, which actually feels pretty good. It, it has a tiny bit of flex to it, as you can kind of see by the plastic, moving, but not a whole lot, not any that's ridiculous. And it has a number pad, which I really wanted. It has a nice huge trackpad, which, which the whole thing kind of clicks down near the bottom. So, obviously they copy some things from Apple. A lot of manufacturers have. And, of course, it has an AMD A8 APU in it. It has the 4500M APU, which is a pretty good one. I think the specs are on the side of the box, actually. Let me look. Yeah, here they are. So this laptop comes with a 6-cell battery. Okay, this is a 6-cell battery. Uh, an A84500M, which has a 7000 series uh, AMD uh, graphics solution in it, and it's clocked at 1.9 gigahertz. But you can you can clock it higher, I think, on certain laptops. But I don't plan to. 750 gig, 5400 RPM hard drive, which is plenty of space for me. Uh, it takes DDR3 1600, one two gig and one four gig stick. So to upgrade this to eight gigs of RAM, all I'd have to do is buy another four gig stick. But six gigs should be fine on a laptop, really. Comes with Windows 8 64 bit. Uh, probably just regular Windows 8 rather than Pro. 15.6 uh, inch glossy display, which I was not a fan of, but for what you get, but this the the way newer glossy displays are made, they're not nearly as bad as my Dell Mini 10V was. So I think this will be tolerable and be just fine. Even though I'm not a huge fan of it, but you know what? For the pr for the price, I'm willing to to just ignore it. Uh, it comes with. Uh, wireless N and Bluetooth 4.0 and there you have it one year warranty this laptop cost me four hundred and thirty dollars on Newegg it was a very cheap computer for what but not the not cheap in the sense of build quality cheap in the sense of what you get for the money uh, so this looks like a pretty nice laptop Let's see what the sticker on the front says Three times charge cycle life. Has uh, the ice cool palm rest thing, so it keeps the heat away from the palm rest. Resumes in seconds. Uh, has USB 3.0 as well, which is nice. So let's go over the laptop itself. Obviously, we, here we have a full size. We have a full size laptop keyboard with the number pad, which I really like. Again, I really like having a number pad on a laptop. I've seen a lot of HPs with those, and I'm glad that I was able to get one finally. It has a full-size keyboard with fairly tactile keys. I mean, they, they feel nice. Yeah, they feel pretty good. Uh, it has an Altec Lansing speaker system built in. And Altec, makes, Altec Lansing makes pretty okay uh, speaker solutions, so we'll have to test out how that sounds. It has the uh, big full trackpad here, as I mentioned before. And it has this uh, big 15.6 uh, inch display which I think the resolution is 1366 by 768 uh, being a budget computer that's what you get but I'm fine with that alright let's check the rest of this thing out so on the side here you get a vent let me just turn the light on so on the side here you get a cooling vent obviously Kensington lock VGA HDMI RJ45 Ethernet, and two USB 3.0 ports. Excellent. 
Here on the front you get an SD card slot, so that's going to be pretty handy for transferring stuff from my Surface to my laptop. Alright, and here we have headphone and microphone jacks, a regular USB 2.0 port, an optical drive. Yes, I prefer having an optical drive, and this one will burn dual layer discs as well, so that's kind of nice. A uh, DC power in, and on the back you just have the battery. Fits in pretty snug and fits in pretty nicely there. So, pretty happy with that. And here's the bottom of the machine. You'll notice that they don't put the prot key anywhere, they just put this Windows 8 bubble thing here. So, I assume that your product key. I assume that if you know what you're doing, you'd have to extract your product key from Windows in order to save it. So, there you have it. Uh, and this panel right here allows you access to the hard drive and the RAM and I think the wireless card. I think to replace the CPU, you might have to uh, disassemble a little bit more than that. Uh, this, the uh, the A-series APUs are socketed. They use socket FS1, so you can upgrade. Uh, depending on what your chipset supports, you can upgrade those chips. They're not BGA mounted onto the board, so that's very good. That way they can't get too hot and die, like a lot of the BGA chips can. So, I think we should plug this in and try it out. One thing I forgot to mention were the LEDs on the front here. I uh, should probably open it to uh, show you those. There are some. There's an array of LEDs on the front, which you can see icons for. Uh, power, battery, hard drive indicator, Wi-Fi, caps lock or uh, num lock and caps lock. So you get a good array of LED indicators on this particular laptop. Now I've plugged it in and we'll turn it on. So let me get rid of the light. All right, let's see what this laptop comes with out of the box. Let's turn it on. How do I get to the BIOS? I forget. F2. Yep, there we go. Alright, it comes with a pretty standard American Megatrends BIOS. That's nice. Alright, here we go. There's an AMD A8 4500M APU. 6 gigs of RAM. What else do we got? comes with a, Hitachi, a 750 gig Hitachi hard drive. Excellent. I like Hitachi drives a lot. So, there you have it. Comes with a, it doesn't come with a Seagate or a Western Digital. It comes with something a little different. Although, these newer Hitachi drives are Western Digitals anyway, so it'll probably be just fine, despite biases for Hitachis. So, it looks like it uses a standard BIOS. Actually, do that. So let's reboot this and see what it's like when it starts up. You can see me in the reflection. Asus. Inspiring innovation. So they've added a little bit to the Windows 8 startup. One thing I've noticed is viewing angle changes the lighting drastically on this laptop. So the panel is probably not amazing, but that's okay. I didn't buy this with the intention of getting a super expensive laptop like my MacBook Pro was. I bought that for film school, which is why I got like the 17-inch model with all the bells and whistles. This is just going to be a normal laptop that has some graphics power. So, you know, it's it doesn't need to be anything that's a huge deal since... You know, there you there you go. There's all the LEDs down there. It's just hammering that hard drive. <laughs> Set your display language. All right. I'm so used to there being a track point. Oh, touchpad feels nice and sensitive. Cool. So pick English. Hit next. Yes, yes, United States. One thing I'm eager to see is what kind of junkware they put on Windows 8, if any. 
I accept the license agreement. Alright, then it goes into the standard Windows 8 setup. Okay, cool. So I'll put that on blue. I will put I'll make this Asus or Asus K fifty five and put L M on the beginning of that. And connect to wireless and everything, and then we'll see what kind of uh, stuff they put on uh, Windows 8. If they put any pre-installed start menus or uh, junk software or anything like that. So, we'll find out in a second. And we are at the Windows 8 desktop. So, what did they put on here? Okay, they put a few Windows 8 apps on here already. Like Fresh Paint, the Solitaire Collection, Pinball FX2, Tap Tiles, and Adara, World Clock. Microsoft Office, really? It's probably a trial. Yeah, I'm going to have to uninstall that, probably. This is the background it comes with. <laughs> background of its own thing, so... Let me do my usual thing and make the, uh... The icon's tiny, because I like tiny icons. Doesn't come with a built-in start menu or anything. Mm -mm. Just your typical uh, Windows 8 installation with not a whole lot of junk. I'm surprised. Let me look in the uh, apps here. Let me see. Go to apps. Yeah, there's not a whole lot. Yeah, not a whole lot of junkware. That's nice. Just just a bunch of Asus maintenance sort of stuff. The only stuff that really can't, that they really included were some of the um, Windows 8 apps. So they they didn't junk up this laptop a whole lot. That's good. Very good. I like Asus for that a lot of the time. So now it's time to update Windows 8 a little bit and get this laptop on the roll and use it as my uh, main laptop now. Looks pretty good so far. Pretty happy. So, one t one tip that makes things easier if you go to personalize, go to change desktop icons. You can put your computer icon and stuff back on the desktop, and I generally like it on there. So, there you have it. Windows 8.1. That will be called this PC. So, that will be interesting. Anyway. This has been the unboxing and the uh, first boot of my new laptop. So far, I'm liking it. Uh, I'm going to post a review on this laptop uh, eventually after I use it for a while because I've noticed when buying this that there were no reviews online really anywhere other than the one on Newegg and a few on some other websites. But there was no real reviews because not many people have bought these AP AMD APU-based systems. So... I'll do a full review on it uh, after a while, but for now, this is just the unveiling of it. So far, it's a pretty nice laptop, especially for the price I paid. Uh, it, you get a lot out of what you get a lot out of the money you pay on these Asus laptops. That was true of the EPC 1015 PEM, and I have a nice feeling that's going to be true of this as well. So, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.